What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today we are taking a look at the set of Big Oxys. Now I've had these for about, I don't know, four or five years, and uh, I've beaten them up quite a bit. The pouch is flapping. We're not going to be fixing that today in this video. I've got a couple holes in the bottom of these where they've worn through. Uh, I might send these guys back to Occidentals and do a video on that later, but today we are going to be cleaning these. We're going to be using the Obanoffs Clean It Leather Cleaner. Now, I do not have my little scrub brush today, so what I thought I'd do is use some all-purpose paper towel wrap. We're going to go ahead and clean it, see if it wipes down really well without scrubbing. We're going to use some Obanoffs Leather Oil to go ahead and try bringing these back to life. Now, what are we trying to bring these up to? This right here is a brand new one, okay? We'll be doing a, I don't know, a review or something on this thing later. But this is the color we're trying to bring back out. Let's see how close we can get this by just spraying it down, wiping off the dirt, and uh, putting some oil on it. Now, this is the tool pouch. And inside this tool pouch, it's pretty dusty. I've uh, tried to get as much of that dust out as possible. Well, we're just going to go ahead and clean it up the best we can. We're probably not going to do the best job on the inside of the bags. We'll concentrate on this smooth outer leather. Okay? Same goes for the fastener pouch, which, as you can see, these are really big bags. That's why they call them the big oxys. Now, as you can hear in the background, my bird is very excited to get this video started. So grab your acorns, sit back, and let's enjoy the show. All right, we're gonna be starting with the actual tool pouch and we'll do one, one piece at a time. Speed this video up and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Enjoy. All right, now I actually wish I would have had my scrubby brush because I don't feel like just spraying them down and wiping them with the um, paper towels, even though they are kind of a stronger paper towel. It didn't really clean them very well, as you can see. Uh, they're, they're a little bit clean, but not what I'd want. I was hoping maybe we could get some of this scrubbed off and some of these stains taken out, but um, let's just oil them up the way they are right here see how they turn out uh, we're gonna go back into speed mode here and uh, jazz these guys up and like I said I don't feel like this was a very thorough cleaning but uh, you know it is what it is let's see how they turn out leave your uh, comments good or bad in the comments section below
So I'm actually out of the open offs right here. And I've got some of this sitting around. I thought I'd go ahead and uh, try it out. Let's do a comparison. Uh, this comes in a two-part deal. It's got a cleaner and it has a uh, conditioner. And we've already kind of half, half cleaned them, you know. But uh, we're going to go ahead and use this conditioner this time. See how it works. All right, here's the finished products. We've uh, cleaned them, we've oiled them or conditioned them, and we've let them dry. So this is the one that's had the Obanox oil. This one has the Lexol uh, leather conditioner, all leather conditioner. Um, both of them turned out pretty good. Now this one is resembling this a little bit more than this one. But I feel like this one has had a lot more of the surface rubbed off compared to what was on these. You'll have to look back. Maybe I'll put a picture of the original deal up here. But we didn't we didn't exactly achieve this right here. But um, they're looking a lot better. I mean, even though they're still somewhat dirty and and you know stained with paint and glue and drywall dust. They do look a lot better than they did before we started. So, um, let me know which one you guys like down better. Oh my God. Let me know which one you guys like better down in the comments. All right. Um, and let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. All that stuff. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.